What's going on everybody? I'm Jory Goodman, the Time Teller. Happy Monday. I hope you're having an awesome Monday. Now guys, something really exciting has happened today. I actually heard about this news a couple of weeks ago, but uh, the website Worn and Wound has released a little write-up of the new Seiko Prospects tunas. Now, uh, they're not going to look like this tuna. They're actually going to look a little bit more like this. Uh, maybe like a mix between the two. I don't know. Here's one. I think it looks amazing And I was actually gonna wait until I got one before I kind of spoke about it But you guys didn't want to wait until that happened because I've been getting billions of messages from you guys asking me my opinions about these watches and uh, Why don't we just get into it? It's 3 25 p.m. Let's get down to business. Okie dokie. So we all know and love the very iconic Seiko tuna. Probably, you know, I think it's the cream of the crop when it comes to Seiko's divers. And uh, as you guys know, I'm just in love with my SBBN 031. It's got a 300 meter water resistance rating, just supreme legibility, incredible loom, a ridiculously robust exterior. I mean, look at the shroud. It looks bomb proof. It's got that seriously over-engineered 7C46 movement, just a ridiculous movement in this watch. It's got a 48 millimeter case and it's 14.7 millimeters thick. Now the only downside I can see with my Seiko Tuna is that it costs roughly $1,200 and that's a lot of money. But what if I told you, you could get a Seiko Tuna with a ton of complications for around $300? Too good to be true? Well, this is where the new Seiko Prospects digital tunas come into play. They've got a 200 meter water resistance rating, so it's not quite the 300 meter rating that this tuna has, but I think 200 meters is enough. It's a 49.5 millimeter case and it's 14 millimeters thick. So as far as the dimensions go, it's very, very similar to my SBBN 031. So what's the big deal? Well, hold on, because this is where it gets very, very interesting. The digital tunas have a 44 city dual time zone. It has a chronograph function and it's pre-programmed all the way to 2067. So it's going to be a very, very convenient watch to have. And speaking of convenience, did I mention this watch is solar powered? That's a whole lot of watch for under $300. If you can't tell from this video, I am super excited for these watches to come out. You bet I'm going to be ordering one and I just can't wait to get it here so I can review it for you guys. So stay tuned for that. So bottom line, I'm a huge fan of G-Shocks and the Seiko Tuna, in my opinion, just might be the best sports watch ever invented. So when you mix them together, Sounds good to me. But let me know what you think, guys. Would you ever wear one? Are you looking forward to it? Are you gonna order one? Leave me a comment below. I'd love to hear from you. And speaking of G-Shocks and Tunas, I've actually added my favorite G-Shocks and my Seiko Tuna to the Time Teller shop. So I wanna thank you so much for checking it out because it really does help the channel out a ton. And if you're new here, if you haven't really decided to subscribe yet, but you're trying to see what this is all about, please click that subscribe button. It takes one second and it helps me out a ton. And while you're at it, you can go ahead and click that little bell icon so you do not miss an episode of the Time Teller. There's just so much more awesome content on the way and you don't want to miss it. I'm telling you guys, please like, comment, and subscribe. Share this with other watch enthusiasts, other people that you think would enjoy this. I'm Jory Goodman, the time teller. And always remember, I didn't invent time. I just tell it.